So let's make some breakfast. Today I'm going to make migas a la mexicana with refried beans on the side and some other fresh ingredients. But first, coffee. I need it. Okay, so today I'm making um, migas a la mexicana. And typically a la mexicana means the tomato, onion, and jalapeno. I'm also throwing some bacon into the mix. I've already uh, prepped these ingredients. Here I have the half of Roma tomato. You could use all of it. I have half of a small onion diced, one large jalapeno that I removed the seeds, four thick cut slices of bacon that I roughly chopped, and eight corn tortillas that I cut into these pieces and I'll be using like five to six large eggs. But first I'm going to cook the bacon and render the fat. Okay, so here I have a cold pan and I'm gonna add the bacon. I'm gonna turn on the heat. And now I'm going to cook the bacon and render as much fat as I can. And I'll, I will cook this through and get it a little bit crispy. Once the bacon's done, I'm going to just place it and put put it on this plate with this uh, paper towel to uh, soak up any residual grease. I'm gonna remove all this bacon. And it did render a lot of grease, which is perfect because that's what I'll toast the corn tortillas in to get them crispy. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my corn tortillas and put it right into the pan. I already have the heat back on. I have it at a medium to medium low heat because this will take some time to get everything crispy and toasty. And you do wanna take your time with this, don't burn them. Okay, so these are done. And I just kind of did these over the course of like 12 to 15 minutes over medium heat. And they're toasty and crispy and not burnt. Because, you know, I took my time with them. Didn't use a high heat. Actually, let me shut off the heat. By the way, I have the last of a batch of refried beans that I made. They were in like a, they were frozen. And I'm just reheating them. But I'm going to go with this breakfast. So here we go gonna put this I'm reusing the plate the bacon is done so I put it in a smaller dish and I'll be putting the tortillas on that plate and just kind of spread them out and they'll stay toasty by the time you need them okay so I'm gonna turn my heat back on again nothing on high these stainless steel pans retain heat very well so if you put things on high it'll get hot really quick so I'm gonna add, there's still a little bit of residual bacon grease in there. I'm just gonna add just not even a tablespoon of oil, just a little bit. And now it's time to saute my onion and the jalapeno. I'll add the tomato last because they'll just get mushy if you saute them too long. I'm going to 
add a little, like a tablespoon of butter, because I like it with the eggs. Didn't mean to throw it in. <laughs> I'm going to let that get all over the pan. Okay, so now we're going in with the egg. And I just beat them in the bowl first. You can scramble them in the pan. Kind of have my my heat to a, a lower setting, and I'm going to let that do its thing. And just cook your eggs how you like it. I'm going to let this cook just a little bit before I add everything to the pan, the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so now I'm going to add all of my crispy corn tortilla pieces and start combining it with the egg. I'm gonna stir it up. And now I'm just going with the bacon. Combine and cook. Some people like creamy eggs, a more wet egg. I like them kind of cooked and dry on the drier side, but it's really up to you. I'm gonna shut the heat off. Okay, I'm gonna, I turned off the heat and I'm just gonna take the amigos off of that burner because there's still residual heat over there. So now I'm just going to finish with a little bit of salt or, you know, people can salt their migas the way they like. And these are done just the way we like them. Okay, so here's my plate. Well, someone's plate. <laughs> and I like to add uh, queso fresco. A little bit of crumbled queso fresco on top of the beans just like that let's see here and I like to add some slices on the side there we go and this is breakfast served with your favorite salsa or hot sauce and dig in so good I hope you give this recipe a try I hope you like it, and thanks for watching!